Hello, 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 and welcome back. Today we are playing the demo of Tavern Keeper. The Steam description reads, Build and manage your own tavern in this charming fantasy business sim. Dive into every detail or relax and decorate to your heart's desire. Upgrade your tavern and navigate lighthearted tales of unlikely heroes as you play the most important role of all. The Tavern Keeper. And I can't wait. I would love to run a tavern. The release date is 2025. And the developer and publisher are both Greenheart Games. So no specific release date in 2025. Just 2025. So maybe if you're watching this in the future, it might have been released and you might be playing it and having a blast. I don't know. But having said that, let's go. Very good, very good. That seems all fine to run a tavern like that. Yay! Oh, wow, this is a proper management sim. Okay. Um, ah, it's fine, we don't need that. So. Welcome to Halflington. Picturesque, eh? You must be here to audition for the protagonist role. Very well. We'll see if you're up for it. Why don't you take a look around? Thank you. Although I'm a bit annoyed at not being able to do the voices myself. Um, so, pan with the mouse or keyboard. Rotate. How do I rotate? Okay, yep. Yeah. Rotate. Zoom. I do love a tavern, don't you? So cosy. Let's see if you know your way around the basics. I'll try my not best. Not to get too technical. Where is the can bar? Can you point out a table? I'll let you know if you're off track. Look, over here, over here. Oh, I found that's one. That's a relief. You wouldn't believe how many main characters I lose on that Is one. Is that the bar? This next one will be a bit trickier. Okay. Can you point out a patron? That's what I call customers. I just like how fancy it sounds. Me too. We're going to be best friends. Him, Correct. that person there. Though in the future, you might Her? refrain from poking strangers. Some find it rude. Well, you told me to, though. That's objects and people handled. Shall we see if you can tell the difference what are between they the rooms? Can you locate the storeroom? Ah, a bit harder there. Very good. I did the it. The storeroom is also a great place to hide from annoying uh, customers. Yeah, yeah, I feel you. I absolutely feel you. Oh, dear. Is that an adventurer headed this way? Always a handful, heroes. Why don't you see what he wants? He might be a handful, but he might After also all, have lots of interacting money. Interacting with odd characters is part of the job. Just click on the fellow with the book above his head. Okay. Hi. What would you like? Do you have a lots of gold coins to give me? As you move to intercept the adventurer, he sweeps his sword from its sheath and slams it into the bar top, rattling the tankards and startling the other patrons. He strikes a valiant pose. Fear not, simple townsfolk. The hero has arrived. Do I not get to do any voices? Oh, okay. Uh, wait, no, I'm, I'm panicking now. I'm panicking. I can't do voices when I'm on the spot. He frowns, giving his breastplate a polish with a bar towel. Hmm. Not much of a greeting. In stories, people usually welcome heroes with more grateful bowing. Never mind. I don't have time to educate the help. 
I have an epic journey to begin, and those usually start with slaying beasties on behalf of some random nobody. He stares expectantly at you. It's awkward. Hello? That would be you. Do you have a quest for me or not? Um, uh, actually, I'll be the main character of this story. Sorry. There you go. A voice. You? Impossible. You're a tavern keeper. You don't even have a sword. Watch this. No, no, I'm Gatch the best. is laid out of the bar and takes a few swings. Hiya! Have at thee! He chops a tankard in half, breathing heavily. You see? This is real main character stuff I'm showing you. And what have you got? An apron? That's all wrong. What kind of story would the bards write about you? A very interesting one. Uh, obviously, the kind about running a tavern. The tavern? I don't get it. What would the focus even be? Drinks, food and entertainment? Designing your own decor? Chatting with customers about their lives? Maybe, you don't know. His voice softens and he looks down at his sword, seeming lost. But, but what about me? If I'm not the centre of attention, what am I supposed to do? I was all prepared for grim one-liners and fighting dragons. It's okay. It's okay. We can be, we can be heroes together. We, we, we'll be partners. I'll be the one that runs the tavern, and you be the one that goes out and hunts and brings me food to cook. Relax, have a drink. There's room in my story for you. Really? I don't have to do any fighting or dungeon crawling? The whole world isn't hinging on my valiant deeds? I could just hang out? He takes his hand off his sword and heaves a heavy sigh. He seems relieved. That, well, that sounds nice, actually. The whole destined hero thing was weighing on me, if I'm honest. If you need me, I'll be trying out a cosy chair by the fire. You hand him a tankard, and he wanders off to admire the decor, sword sheathed. I did a really good job there. You managed to defuse That's the what situation? I was going to say. I just couldn't Impressive. think of the words. I thought for sure that would be a disaster. Me too, actually, but you know. Let's move on. Now, I'd like to see how you handle opening a tavern yourself. I'll be great. I'll be really Click good at it. on the prompt to the right when you're ready. Okay. What about this person? Okay, well. Please wait quietly. No quieter than that. Quieter. Welcome to the swamp. Sorry, I blew the location budget on a that swamp. half It's fine, tavern. I'll make it great. I hope you like mud. I love it. First things first, it's time to teach you how to teach yourself. I can't, I can't do that. Hovering uh. your cursor over <laughs> things like checklists can bring up helpful tool tips. Why don't you try it? I'm really glad that you're here because without you I would crash and burn. Oh. Okay, learn about nested tool tips. Phenomenal work. I did such a good job. You mastered tool tips and thus the secret to mastering the whole game. This positive reinforcement is exactly Onwards. what I need. The tap room is ready, but you're missing a vital piece, the tap. Okay. You'll Open need one to serve drinks. Okay. Build one wherever you like. Oh, you see now you've uh, a place to tap barrels. Ideally, what did I say? Ideally, the ones with drinks inside. Is this a uh, storeroom thing or a... Put it there. It's that easy. Ready to hire your first stop. I'm so ready. Let's go. Velarani. It's it's creeping me out how their arms aren't attached. Their favorite quality is their inheritance. Thinking about orcs makes them laugh. Oh. Their greatest hobby is fight bull bull them is fighting oozes. Spends their spare time doing avoiding doing work. <laughs> Just a spare time though, not work time. Excels at distributing tips. Fired from the lost cow for impersonating the elderly. <laughs> Lauded at the singing king for sharing tips with the needy. I hate strippy candles. Oversaw workplace safety at the swimming... Oh, adorable. Riley. Uh, the swimming princess. Relaxes by fulfilling prophecies. Lauded at the double duck for taking the blame. So... 
What kind of skills do I need these people to have? Janitor, dog's body, server. I need someone who's good at serving, right? Because... Hmm. Yeah, I want you because... <laughs> like... <laughs> the amount of voices I do and impersonations and stuff. Me and Diana are going to get on like a house on fire. Unless we're like... That impression wasn't that good. My impression's better. I can do a better accent than you can. Ah, oh, look at her. She thinks she thinks she's great at impersonating the elderly, but in fact, I'm the best one at impersonating the elderly. But we'll find out. Come on, Diana. Arthur? Come on board. Really? Based on those qualifications, are they a friend of yours? <laughs> They're about to be. Never mind. It's time to buy drinks. The traveling merchant will be here momentarily. Click on him when he arrives. Okay, is over here? It's him. What do I need? What do I need? What do I need? I would like some... I'd like some Mudweiser, please. Purchase. Excited to tap that barrel? I'm so Select excited. The tap you installed yeah. to assign your new beverage to it. Uh, Mudweiser. But it's better than Budweiser. Uh, have staff working. Have staff install the barrel. How do I do this? I just have to wait. I just wait for Diana to do it. Look at her doing such a good job. Is she going out to meet the merchant? Oh, wait. I've forgotten how to... This way. Look at him with his little boat. This is great. Oh, I wish I could run a tavern in, like, Valheim or something. That would be great. I suppose you could do, like, a public server where you just roleplay running a tavern. No, come in behind the bar. I'll give you your drink, sir. Oh, she's hench. Go on, Diana. That does it for basic necessities. I think you're ready to <gasps> open for business. Okay. Unlock those doors. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I fix the seal. Can I not name my tavern? It's smooth sailing from here. Wait for a patron and your staffer will do the work. Oh, we've got patrons. They're coming. Oh, they're elderly. He's elderly. Don't impersonate him, Diana. He'll get offended and he'll leave. Go on, Diana. Can I? I'm sad I don't have my own little person to uh, help serve. Oh, look at them. <gasps> Tom and the Vikings here. Great, we're doing a great job, drink ahoy. So how far out can we zoom? Not that far, because I want to... I wish I could change now, the let me show you how to make your orientation of it, because I want to look around the swamp. Decorating your tavern truly makes it your own. Okay. Take this table, for example. It's an empty canvas, ready to transform. Mm -hmm. You might decorate it with something simple, perhaps place a centerpiece. But why stop there? Oh my you goodness! Can yes. Can I do the design mood. on the tablecloth? Ooh, feeling romantic? Not remotely. And you need to stop and simply decorate it. You can design anything you can imagine, piece by piece. <gasps> Go wild! Okay, I will. For now, let's try something simple. Select a piece from the design mode and combine it with the table. Right, right. You'll okay. have hundreds of options as a tavern keeper, but let's start with mm. three. An axe. I don't know. I felt like my mouth went really. An axe went really wide. An axe. Non ate teapot. Yes, we love a teapot. That's there we go. An interesting choice. Well, there's no accounting for taste. Shut up. Shut up. That's enough decorating for no, now. No, shut up. The teapot you know, looks lovely. I think I found my protagonist. The role is yours if you want it. I do. I really do. Go on. Run the tavern as you like for a few days. Perhaps you can earn your first Thank you very star. much. Okay, read the Gazette. Read the local Gazette. Notification will pop up. On the right-hand side... Do, what's happening up here? Okay. Oh, there's so much information. Just stop. Okay. Read the Gazette. A notification will pop up on the right-hand side. During the first day. I don't see one. Okay, we'll come back to that. Place a dartboard. Use the build menu and look for the dartboard. Here? Oh. 
lovely. Wait, wait, wait. Here? This seems like a good place. Build a storeroom. Um, okay, okay. Where would one? Oh, there. I see it. I see it. Storeroom. Storeroom. It says locked though, right? This is so small. Maybe here? Oh, I get it. Confirm. Can they get in that room? It hasn't, oh, okay, there's a door. Put the door, wait, I need it to be opposite that door. There. Excellent. And how do I confirm? Do I need another door? There's already one there. Uh, I don't know. How do I stop doing doors? How do I stop doing doors? Pallet? Like there? Yeah? I've built a storeroom. Okay, find the hidden coin. Somewhere in this level is a single coin. Find it and click on it. Is it above that Tormund's head? Try gaining a star. Okay, so what else can I build? Let's go. Where's the gazette? <gasps> is it this? Bayou Chronicle, the Dark Lord steps down. A mere year after gathering a legion of the dead and conquering the realm, the Dark Lord has decided to give it all back. Ruling things is actually just, it's really boring, he admitted. Heroes who had already embarked on thrilling quests to, the, to dethrone him have expressed disappointment. Turning your adventures gathering into an adventuring party, local pixies delve into higher maths, create fairy tesseract. Soothsayers say end times nigh. This is just a demo. Price, a gold piece. I read it. Okay, so there's a hidden coin where we right okay come with me come with me on this adventure to find a hidden coin that no hidden coin will one of the people maybe have a hidden coin what about okay um if you were a hidden coin where would you be where would you be? That's a decoration, apparently. I can't click on anything out there. So, what is this? Oh. I want the hidden coin. Everyone seems to be having a lovely time, though. Don't they just? Okay. Um... Can we build more stuff? Maybe we'll find a hidden coin if we build more stuff. I don't know. Do, 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 do. What does the pallet do? Inventory kept off the floor, spoils slower, out of the reach. Okay, well maybe if I buy... Oh no, he's leaving, I can't buy shit. Services, oh, I have a 92% reputation. And I have a 100% drink reputation, excellent. Um. See, everything is in your storerooms. I have two Mudweisers in my storerooms. Okay. What is this? I don't need any more stuff. Diana's doing a cracking job. I feel like um, the hidden star will make itself known to me. Okay. Demolish design. I want a cloth sack. And um, I'm going to put it... Yeah, I can't have a cloth sack. Okay, well, what about a sword? What if we put a sword somewhere? Um, we'll put it, oh, I don't know, over here? Oh, isn't that great? What is this? Is that good? I don't know. Is there a hidden coin? Um, oh gosh, there's so many things. How do I get them to play again? Free camera. 
I want to come out of design mode. I want to... Okay. Great. Let's, let, let's speed it up a bit. <gasps> what is this? Tavern menu? <gasps> To add drinks to the tavern menu, purchase a barrel and load it into one of your taps. So I can have multiple taps then, presumably. Ooh. Storybook. What does that mean? Stuff's happening. You hear a dry, rhythmic clatter approaching the front door of the tavern. Could it be a peddler selling kindling or a shaman's rattlestick? But when the door opens, it's a skeleton standing on the stoop. It shambles in. Its skull swivels, fixing you with a baleful, undead stare. The skeleton's jaw creaks open slowly, the ghastly voice of death spilling forth. Cheers, mate. Dreadful chilly out. You open? Uh, um... Is it...? Uh, yeah, we're open. Many thanks, many thanks. The name's Cuthbert. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. Those skulls seem already to grin by default. Somehow the skeleton seems to smile. One off the tap, if you please. I don't drink much, but I enjoy holding the mug and sloshing it around. <laughs> Find the ritual of it soothing, I suppose. Lifts the spirits, and I could use a bit of that. Me and this narrator are going to get on like a house on fire with our voices. Here, mate, is something the matter? Oh, just having a bit of a mid-death crisis, maybe. Stuck in a rut. You serve the drink. Cuthbert clasps it, tapping his bony fingers against the pewter mug. Truth is, me art's not in the job anymore. Been starting to wonder. Did I become a dungeon henchman because it was what I wanted or because it was expected of me? I could be missing out on a job I really love. Well, um... Maybe you should change things up, mate. Like, what do you want to do? I want a job where I can chat with people. Something like what you do. Cuthbert sighs, the mournful sound coming from deep in his open ribcage in a way that makes no sense whatsoever. <laughs> he brings the mug up to his skull and taps the rim against his teeth. In the dungeon, it's always about blocking doors and doing spooky dances. Hardly anyone stops to talk Man before sounds they like Jason a Statham. off with a big hammer. So, why not go and get a job like mine then? Skeletons give everybody the willies. Whenever I'm out and about on errands, people run the other way. Even shopkeeps. Makes doing the groceries right difficult. We, we could just put you in an outfit. Cuthbert waves his finger bones in a vaguely dismissive gesture. Would you like to gesture. work for me? Who would hire an employee I that will, makes I their will, customers I squeamish? Um, I will. I will. If you want to work here, I will. I would, mate, but, you know, they've got to be a hard worker. Are you a hard worker? You've talked me into it. I'm headed down to that dungeon right now and turning in me rusty old sword and shield. The afterlife is too short to waste. Cuthbert slaps a palm against the counter. It makes a sound like a bowl of rocks being thrown at a wall. You're a good sort. You know what? Next time you see me, I'll have an application for you, boss. He gives a jerky nod and saunters away, whistling liplessly to himself through some mechanism you don't understand. We don't need to understand. Close book. Excellent, we've hired a skeleton. I love you, Cuthbert. Yeah, you're my favourite. Okay, what are all these things? No, oh no. Why can't anybody order any drinks? Is it because we're out? Oh, what? The merchant man's gone though. Uh, okay, well, we've, we've fucked it. We've fucked it. Maybe we should speed it up until he... I bet that nice skeleton is looking for a new job by now. Okay, uh, up it. here. Mm. Yeah. Come on, Cuthbert, come on down. He's and always smiling. As a skeleton, some patrons might find Cuthbert a little frightening. Also, he hardly sleeps, but no one's perfect. I don't think lack of sleep In fact, is a bad thing. He, was alive, he can just he... always work. Oh, never mind. Let's save that story for the full game. Carry oh, my on. God, I've got 10. <gasps> That's fine, because the merchant arrives in 10.3 hours, and I've got 10.9 hours. 
So that's fine. We have more than enough time. So what happens at night time? Cuthbert, be nice to Diana. Oh, look at them. They're having such a lovely time. Seems we're in for a rainy night. Does that affect us at all? Some of our props required. Yeah, I know, I know. Patrons will get wet and might also want a place to dry themselves. Track mud. It might be tempting to not let patrons in. Poor business practice. You've opened a new tavern and have thus increased interest from potential patrons. Yeah, we just need it to get to the next day, I guess. Oh, what's that? <gasps> great. Great, great, great. When does the man come back? What was I just on that told me when he comes back? I've lost it. I've lost the thing. What was I on to tell me when the merchant... Oh, I get paid in uh, 17... No, it said the merchant comes back in like 10 point summit hours. Okay, the merchant has arrived. Oh, hello, sir. I would like to buy things from you. Let's buy some... How many coins have I got? That just... And also, what does this mean? Where are my coins? Oh, up here, I've got plenty of money. Wait, 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 wait. But just nice. Cheers. Come on, Cuthbert, do your job, mate. Are you a hard worker? You said you were. Oh, he fell over. Is it because it's rainy or is that just what he does as a skeleton? What's that? Do we need another pallet? Hang on, I'll buy you another pallet. Here, yeah, wait, wait, wait. Oh, we could buy another tap. Here, look, we'll buy another tap and we'll put them both on. I still don't know. Oh, there, there. Okay, escape. Uh. Oh, there we go. Select drink. Gunther's blood rock in here. Select drink. Just drink it. Now we've got two taps and two employees. And so we shouldn't run out of any drink, to be honest. We should have one waiting, maybe. But I'm not going to do that just yet. Because what if it spoils and I waste my money? You know what I'm... Do you know what I mean? So we'll just leave it as is. Now people have a choice of two drinks both alcoholic obviously a um, one star rating already you're a natural click on the message on the right to claim it oh look at my star is that Cuthbert is he okay yay Still don't know where this hidden coin is. The merchant might have it. Let me have a look. Mm, so that's not the coin then, yeah? Makes you want another one, doesn't it? It absolutely does. Yeah, you're right. But you gained a star. Owning your first hour are not new room types, new challenges, and advanced campaign. But alas, this is just but a small teaser. Here, take 100 gold and a few new furniture options. Decorate, soak in the ambiance, and see who comes through your doors. When you've had enough, click on finish demo to make one final decision. Okay, well, I just want to put some more stuff out. Um, a small table. How do I rotate Q? Q, Q? No, I want to rotate the... Oh, okay, wait. Hmm. I thought I'd be able to, like, push it up against that table, but apparently not. Um. <sighs> I want to put it there. Okay. That's fine. So we've got a place where you all can be. Wait, and I need to find this coin. Somewhere in this level is a single coin. I don't need to click on it. Isn't we sure it's not that coin? Can't be anything to do with the merchant because anytime I click on anything to do with the merchant, it. Okay. A coin. A coin. Is that a coin? Bullseye. 
I got it. Ten new unlocks. A comfy chair. Nice. Oh, what was that? Hang on. Storage shelf. Dead tree shelves. Crocodile skin mat. A fairy door. Battle for the swamp. Okay, well, we'll put some stuff out. Lantern. Work schedule. Locker. Collect. We'll put some stuff out. Who sleeps in that room? Do they both sleep in that room? I'm assuming they won't sleep at the same time. Because we've got loads of money. Do we have any rooms we can add? Um, outdoors? Uh, okay, let's just add some stuff. Crocodile skin mat. What if we put it like when they first come in so they're like, mm, hot damn, this is a... How do I rotate this? Oh, there we go. So, like, this is a fantastic tavern. There's a crocodile on the floor. Um, I would love the fairy door. <gasps> oh my goodness, you guys can come in over there. Great. A carved sign. Put that there. Uh, put this back here. Storage shelf. Let's put one in here. Put one here. And, uh, I'm not allowed to put one here. Why? Why? Weird. Oh, maybe I am. Hang on. No. Oh, I've got no money. I've spent all my money. That's fine. We don't need any more money. I don't think we'll need any more money. Speed it up. Let's go. Let's go, guys and girls. Look at them all having such a lovely time. Oh, Bio Chronicle 2. A corpse by any other name. Undead lobbying group, the Afterlife League, is petitioning the term halfling to extend to the undead on the grounds that they are half dead and half alive. This is the latest move by the League to distance themselves from the negative stigma of the term undead. This ooh, ha, mm. representatives in Halflington have released a statement refusing to listen to demands from any organization whose acronym is TOL. A dwarves in your horde. Pest control tips every dungeon needs to know. Subverted tropes stress out historians' guild. Lion's claim to the throne dismissed as allegorical. Hey. How do we know how much, like, beer and stuff? Oh, it doesn't matter. The merchant's gone. We're just going to have to hope for the best. Nobody's sitting on my new table, and I'm upset about it. We could buy something decorative for that table, though. What did it offer me before the owl thing? I want the owl thing. Um, which one of these do you think it would be? Lines and art, inlays, magic, text, lights. Okay, well it must be in here then. Owl, carved owl, there it is. Put it on your table, there you go. You're welcome. Cool. Look at them. Such a happy little tavern. I think I'm the best tavern keeper in all the world. Cuthbert, Diana, do they need to be friends? That one's out. What about this one? Uh, there's only a little bit left in there. Turns into dust. <gasps> Looks like we made a profit yesterday. Only 21 coins. Is that because I spent all our money? It might be. Very well might be. Okay. <laughs> Amazing. A storybook. Let's go. Five finger tacks for parchments oh. covered in cramped writing are scattered all over the bar top. A forlorn elf has been shuffling through the paperwork for hours, muttering under their breath. They haven't earned more than curious looks from the other patrons, but if a rush comes, you're going to need that bar surface to serve drinks. Maybe this elf could use a fresh set of eyes on whatever this mess is. Excuse me, um... Just the thing is, you're kind of making a mess of my bar, so... Just wanted to know... What, what are you working on there, friend? What is that? At first, the elf doesn't seem to hear you. 
but after a moment, their dazed eyes drift up to meet yours. What? Uh, nothing. Well, wait. You're a business type, right? You know about all the forms and taxes and fees and whatever. Money stuff, yeah? <sighs> Look, mate. <sighs> I'm, I'm really busy. I'm selling out me booze every single day, so... I do know my way around a ledger, but what's the problem? What's the problem, mate? A look of relief washes over their face, and they scoot the parchments toward you with both hands. So, I'm a thief, right? Last month, I lifted a nobleman's coin purse, and it wasn't until I got home that I realized it wasn't full of coins. It was full of diamonds. Diamonds? Do you have any idea what tax bracket that puts me in this year? Oh, uh, no. What do I do? Taxes aren't me thing, mate. Well, to be honest, I don't know a lot about taxes. Even though I'm a tavern keeper, and I know that you think that I would, I don't. Diana, actually, she does the taxes, not me. So, um, you're a thief. Why, why, would, why would a thief pay any taxes anyway? The elf looks affronted their hand drifting up to their mouth as if to ward off a bad taste. Of course I pay my taxes. I'm a thief, not a criminal. I did try to negotiate into a lower rate with the tax office, of course. You know, one thief to another. No luck. One thief to another? Uh, well, um... Hmm, that is interesting. Maybe they could give me some diamonds. Look, mate, that is real tough, real tough. But as I said before, I, I don't really know much about taxes. And so maybe they'll take some of your diamonds as payment. Oh, I don't really know, to be honest. I guess you're right. Is my you just said you wanted to pay really? taxes, so pay your taxes. With a crestfallen expression, the elf's eyes drop to the paperwork once again. And after I pay it properly, I can steal it back fair and square. You could, Thanks yeah. Thanks for setting me straight, friend. No problem. Do you want to buy a beer while you're here? In one overflowing armload and makes their way to the door. Belatedly, you notice they stole the tip right. jar. Right, Diana Cuthbert, make sure that man, elf, make sure that elf never comes back in here again. I thought elves were meant to be upstanding people. I thought they were all, like, ethereal and tall. Things that I am not. And I always look at them with a sense of awe, like, oh, that elf could never be me, but that one, he just stole my tip jar. So don't let him back in. Put a picture up on the wall. Hire someone that does sketches. Do a sketch of him. Put him on the wall. Not allowed back in. Right. So we've got one day remaining. Should we do the last day? We've uh, we've finished all of the things. Uh, we have no stuff, so I don't think there's much point here. Um... We'll see if anything happens in the next 20 hours, I guess. I don't think there will, though. My rating's going down. Oh, Bio Chronicle 3. The boy who lived a double life. A fragment of a warlock saw was found in the possession of a young boy, cleverly hidden under a scar. The boy has been taken into custody and, should the warlock press charges, will be charged with identity theft. His parents could not be reached for comment. The Moonster Manual, Lacto... Lactomances reveal cheese grimoire, bridges toll trolls unicorn calls for more infrastructure spending, and hero knocked off this plane of existence by giant D20. Nice. Oh, I'm so sorry that we didn't have anything. I don't know what that was. Was it important? I want this. Here, boss, I think we've got some new applicants. I mean, my tavern is a one star rating. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? This is a one star rating. It's absolutely one star rating. When does uh, the merchant come back? We should have bought more beer. I knew it. <gasps> Minus 66. God damn. I feel like I'm getting a hang of it though. When this merchant comes back. Right, okay. We're going to buy Apfel Schlam. Get two of them and we'll get two of them purchased. Thank you kindly, sir. This one, wait, wait. This one's going to be Apfel Schlam. And this one's going to be Bloodwine. Oh, bring them in, bring them in. Excellent. Come on, guys. A storybook.
bad Storms weather on the way. Feel it in my bad leg. Right Feel it in, in my joint. bad leg, Ever I do. Goblin injured it. The old timer leans heavily on the back of a chair and rubs his knobby knee, grimacing out the window at the mild day outside. Sure, he apologized right there on the dance floor for dropping me mid twirl. Even bought me a candy apple after. Sweet fella. Still, legs never been the same since. You feel that in the air, young'un? That's the storm. To be honest, mate, it just kind of feels like rain to me. Does it not feel like rain to you? So you can feel it too, eh? Right you are. That rain's coming down before the day is out. Sure is shuffling. He sniffs, massaging his knee. Ah, well, nothing wrong with a bit of rain. Good for remembering. Remembering? Okay, thank you for that. I appreciate it. We've got one hour left of the demo. And then apparently I'm going to have to make some sort of decision. Don't know what the... Come on, boys and girls. Come on, Cuthbert. Back out to the bar. Ooh, that's... Oh, we've got a wine and a beer. That's nice, though. A little bit of variation. Variation. But this is just a demo. How should we end things? What do you mean? I'll leave it up to you. Here, a nice shiny button. Ooh. I'm not blowing up the tap. I'm not blowing up things with a bang. Diana and Cuthbert. Let the timer run out are my best friends. Along yes, my go. tavern's absolutely gonna like Diana and Cuthbert are gonna create and run. Button, no, no, because they're gonna have the best tavern, dreadful. the best tavern ever. I'm not blowing up the tavern. 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 I'm not doing it. showing incredible restraint. I bet that clicking finger is simply... My clicking fingers are up here, pal. My finger guns are up here. I am not clicking that button because I love Diana and Cuthbert. I've decided. And you can't... No. No one will know. Just little old me. And the three people that watch this video. No. Not doing it. Are you sure you don't want to push it? Ooh, Not doing it. Out of time. My hands are in case this blows up. My hands are up here. You resisted the urge to push a big shiny button. I did. For that long? I did. How unusual. I did, but it's only because you told me what it would do, and I didn't want that to I happen. You'll make some remarkable choices in the full story. I can't wait to find out. Thank you very much. Thanks Appreciate for playing it. the tavern keeper demo. I've had ever so much fun. Me too. Me too. It's been lovely. Thank you for having me. So that was ca Cavern Teeper. That was Cavern Teeper. You heard. And Cavern Teeper is coming to PC in the Q4 of 2024. I had a great time. Um... If that seems like the kind of management sim that you would like, go and add it to your wish list. I think that seems like great fun. And I really, really enjoyed the narration over it, even if it meant I didn't get to do my own voices. But hey, he did a great job. He was way better than me. What can I say? And um, I think that that's it. 